<laughs> Brother, pissed as shit. We just dicked him. Does that actually work? Yeah, that is the way to work. Alright guys, so today I'm going to talk about a very hot button issue in the Chell community nowadays, which is CR glitching. Yeesh Mode and Gibby Gaming recently put out really good videos about what CR glitching is doing to the community and how it's ruining the integrity of the game and how it's made rankings and leaderboards basically meaningless. Definitely go check out their videos, I'll leave links for those in the description box. But in this video I'm actually going to show you a good way to counteract the CR glitch. I'm not going to tell you how to do the CR glitch in this video, I think the less people that know how to do it, the better, but if you don't know, there's been a glitch in the game for a while that basically allows you to exit out of a match without losing CR or taking a loss. This is being used in all game modes, EASHL, HUT, versus whatever, so basically people obviously do this when it's the end of the game, they know they're going to lose, and they don't want to lose CR or take the L. So. What you want to do here is get the puck in your own defensive zone, flip it over the boards, and take a delay of game penalty, then pause the game right before the puck drops. What this does is basically makes it much harder for the other team to time the glitch properly. So in this case here, there's 0.4 seconds left, so basically the other team has a 0.4 second window to do the glitch here, and it's going to make it much harder for them to do. It is still possible for them to do it in that window, but this is better than doing nothing and just letting them do it to you, so. All right, I can feel a CR glitch. <laughs> now, how do you know a team is going to CR glitch you? So there's a couple things to consider. One, you've played the team before and they've glitched you before. So if they did it once, it's probably a safe bet uh, that they're gonna do it again. If someone glitches you, try and remember their tag I know a couple guys that even write guys' names down so that they remember. What's unfortunate about the CR glitch though is sometimes not everyone on the team is in on it. So I had a guy on my team try to do it once without telling me or my teammates. Luckily it failed, but if it had worked out then our whole team would have been tainted, our opponents would have just assumed we're all scumbag CR glitchers. Two. If players start to suddenly drop out of the game, stop skating, yeah. or rag the puck while losing in the final minute of a game, I'd say there's a good chance they're probably going to glitch you. So look out for that. If you see a team ragging, you should put on a full court press to get the puck back so you can take it back into your zone and flip it over the boards with a second left. This isn't going to work every time, obviously, and if it's a one goal game and threes, you don't want to do this as it's just going to give the other team a chance to tie the game on a penalty shot. It seems unlikely though that a team is going to do the CR glitch in a one goal game where they could just legitimately come back, but people might do it. A downside to this is if your opponent really isn't trying to CR glitch you and you do this, they're probably just going to think you're trolling them by ragging the puck and intentionally taking a penalty, but unfortunately this is just what you have to do because CR glitching is so common nowadays that you don't really have a choice. I hope this helps some of you out there with the rampant CR glitching we're seeing out there. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one. And we did it. Mine's still sir. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. Yo, we actually got it. Yeah. Plus eight. I got 14, bro! <laughs>